So using this viewfinder, I'm going to work on each individual square. I've already done row one. Now I'm working on row two. I work from left to right. And what I'm gonna do is use my viewfinder to block out all the other areas so I can focus on just what's inside that square. If I'm focusing on that area, all I'm doing is kind of writing down in my square the images that I see. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you guys can see a little better. So what I see in this little area, it's trees in the background. So it's not, um, it's, it's gonna have kind of organic shapes. It's in the background. So it looks a little bit like a scribble. And I'm just gonna outline the darker areas. And I'm just getting some information on the page. And I'm trying to figure out where exactly everything falls in that space. So in the middle, I have a light area. Near the bottom, I have a light area. And anytime I need to erase, I'm using a white eraser. And I'm not pressing too hard. Um, if you're pressing too hard with your pencil, that you have to press real hard with an eraser, you're gonna have a hard time when it comes time to applying your watercolor paint. So be really mindful of that. So my lines, while I can see them, they're organic shapes, they're not highly detailed. As I moved into the next areas, again, what I'm focusing on is just kind of getting a little bit of information on the page. It doesn't have to be perfect, but what I'm doing is training myself to draw what I see and not what I know. What I know about this is that I'm working on some different trees in the background, and those trees in the background are going to be um, you know, a little bit more fuzzy because it's in the background. The most detailed part is going to be the people in the pictures. So I've just kind of gotten the basic shapes and then I'm going to move on. Where are my dark areas? Where are my light areas? And now as I move into square three on row two, I'm working on part of the face. This is what I really need you to focus on. Where are all the details in this picture? I want you guys to watch before you start. So I'm paying close attention to where the side of the face and the hair start. It's really important that you figure out placement really from the start. I know that I have an ear in here. What happens is people start drawing what they know and not necessarily what they see. And that is where you end up having more troubles down the road. So I may not understand all of the details I'm looking at, but I'm getting them all on the page. And when I go in and do my uh, main details later, I'm gonna be putting in some of the more fine details. Right now, I'm just getting some information on the page. I've got part of the eye. I've got some darker areas in here. And for right now, this is, this is what I'm doing it to just kind of figure out where everything is on the page. You actually can't see the entire pupil, which is one of the misconceptions that people have about portraiture. Um, when you start drawing people, you have to understand what you're looking at. And what you're looking at, while we do see the, we do see, I'm sorry, not the pupil, the iris, most people, when they are doing this part, the biggest mistake they make is they make an entire circle for the eye. 
the iris. And very rarely do you see that on a typical photo, unless somebody is really scared or frightened or surprised. Look at me now. That's the only time you see the full iris. Do you see what I mean? So be real careful. When you're doing the eyes and drawing those kinds of details, what you're focusing in on is the, you know, the details that you see. And you're probably only going to see a portion of the iris. All right, I see a little bit of the nose, so I have a little bit of shadows to put in here. I'm not really doing any shading, but I see some lines there, so I'm gonna make sure I bring those in. And then I have some hair up at the top. Okay, so now I have started drawing the person. Now, the biggest thing that I can say is that when you're drawing the best, don't worry about the fine details so much, but try to at least figure out, okay, that, that eye went almost halfway across the page. So I tried to match that. I tried to match what details I do understand. What I do understand is that this ear does not touch the side of that square. I do understand that the face is on an angle. I do understand that the eye, actually the corner of it comes almost halfway across the page. So these are the kinds of details that you wanna focus on. Where in the square did those things fall? Doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to focus on trying to figure out where everything is in that space. Now, right now, the details are starting to emerge, but I am not really focusing on any shading. What I'm focusing on is placement. Bottom of the nose is going to come to this corner. Try not to do a bunch of shading. The shading and that kind of detail will come later. <laughs> 